Hey there, curious minds, and welcome to another episode of Detective Fact. Hold on to your helmets because today we're traveling at the speed of light to explore what NASA hasn't revealed about black holes. And here we go. Number one, black holes might be wormholes. Prepare to be unsettled because wormholes aren't a journey for the faint of heart. Imagine cosmic tunnels through the fabric of space-time, making Star Trek's warp drive seem like a leisurely stroll. This isn't your typical garden variety tunnel. We're talking about a wormhole throat forming near a rotating black hole, where, under the right cosmic conditions, a traversable wormhole might connect the inside of the black hole to another black hole, or it could act as a bridge between two totally separate regions of space-time. So in theory, a wormhole could be a type of black hole, and vice versa. As of now, we can't see what it's like inside a black hole. But scientists are still researching the extreme conditions and exotic matter that might be needed to keep a wormhole stable. The last thing you want is a wormhole to collapse on you. Number two, black holes might spawn new universes. Don't let the whole of black hole fool you. Instead, picture something incredibly heavy crammed into a tiny space, like a star much bigger than our sun squeezed into a pro football stadium. That's a lot of dense matter in there. And it's from this matter that our own universe may have been birthed. According to quantum mechanics, particles and antiparticles can spontaneously pop in and out of existence near the event horizon of a black hole. This is known as Hawking radiation, a process predicted by physicist Stephen Hawking. Some speculative theories propose that near towards the end of a black hole's life, extreme conditions could spawn a new universe. The intense energies involved could potentially create a new space-time connected to our own universe but existing independently. What's crazy is that out of the billions of black holes in the universe, one might just give rise to the birth of another universe like ours. And who knows what kind of crazy thing could come out of there. Number three, black holes can alter time. Let's imagine you're falling into a black hole and your friend Bob's there to witness the whole thing. Bob, being outside the black hole, is in a weaker gravitational field compared to what you'll experience once you fall inside. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, the black hole's gravitational pull becomes so intense that from Bob's perspective, time for you would appear to slow down. This mind-blowing effect is known as gravitational time dilation. So, to Bob, it looked like you were falling in slow motion as you got closer to the black hole's event horizon. And eventually, it looked like you were frozen in time. If the two of you could communicate, you could tell Bob that time is actually ticking away more slowly for you. But you'd probably already be dead by this point. If that's not creepy, then I don't know what is. Number four. Black holes can grow infinitely large. Maybe you thought you were safe from the black hole in the next galaxy over because, hey, they can't get any bigger. Think again. A black hole can keep growing forever because anything that enters its event horizon falls towards it and becomes part of its ever-expanding mass. Thanks to its insanely powerful gravitational pull, the more mass the black hole devours, the stronger its gravitational pull gets, which allows it to devour even more mass. It's a nightmare scenario of self-perpetuating cosmic hunger. Number five, black holes are practically invisible. Spoiler alert, nothing, not even light, makes it out of a black hole. Now, you might be thinking, how on earth do we even know these invisible behemoths exist if we can't see it or snap a selfie with one? Well, when a black hole starts flexing its gravitational field, it pulls nearby matter towards it, and scientists can observe these gravitational effects. Imagine a binary system 
in which a black hole and its companion star do a cosmic tango. The gravitational interaction can cause the companion star to move in a characteristic way, leading to the detection of the unseen black hole. And that's not all. Enter gravitational lensing, the cosmic magnifying glass. When a black hole bends light that passes near it, background stars or galaxies appear distorted or magnified when viewed from Earth. So while we can't see black holes directly, the universe drops us some gravitational breadcrumbs, daring us to uncover even more hidden mysteries. Number six, objects falling through a black hole aren't spaghettified. Maybe you've heard that if you fell into a black hole, you could turn into human spaghetti. Gross, right? But as always, the reality is even more extreme. A 2012 study published in the journal Nature suggested that quantum effects would cause the event horizon of a black hole to act like a wall of fire, instantly burning anyone unfortunate enough to fall into it before the spaghettification process could take place. Science serving up cosmic surprises with a side of crispy critters. Number seven, any matter can become a black hole. Ever lose your keys and wonder if they disappeared into a black hole? Well, technically, if they magically shrunk down to an infinitesimally small point while retaining all their mass, voila! The density would skyrocket and the gravitational forces would go off the charts, turning those keys into a singularity, a cosmic heavyweight in a pocket-sized package. Who knew your lost keys could hold the secret to becoming a mini black hole? The mysteries of the universe might just be hiding in your pocket. Number eight, black holes have hairs. In the swinging 60s, physicist John Wheeler suggested that black holes were smooth operators with no hair. Not the kind you'd find in your comb, mind you. Wheeler said black holes were like cosmic cue balls, distinguished only by their spin, mass, and angular groove. Fast forward to 2016, when legendary physicist Stephen Hawking added some flair to the follicle drama, suggesting that black holes might actually have hairs composed of zero energy particles containing information about the matter the black hole has consumed. Who knew black holes needed a cosmic salon appointment? Number nine, black holes spin. So black holes can't suck, but boy, do they know how to spin. Picture this, when the core of a massive star collapses to form a black hole, its rotation is preserved, leading to the creation of a rotating black hole known as a care black hole. This spin makes things interesting. The center becomes a rotating ring instead of a dot. Outside the black hole is a region called the ergosphere, where space-time itself is dragged along with the spin. This spin affects nearby objects and plays a big role in how things go down around black holes. From swirling disks of gas to the ripples in space-time we call gravitational waves. Number 10, black holes eventually die. Think black holes are invincible? Well, here's a cosmic plot twist. Even they face their own potential demise. Contrary to common sense, black holes can't keep everything to themselves. They emit radiation, a phenomenon known as Hawking radiation, causing them to lose mass over time. This slow cosmic weight loss may sound bizarre, especially after we've talked about how their gravitational fields pull in nearby matter. But through this radiation emission process, black holes may lose enough mass to the point where they become unstable and explode in a burst of energy. This final explosive stage is often referred to as the black hole evaporation or Hawking evaporation. Even in the vastness of space, nothing, not even a black hole, 
is above the cosmic cycle of birth and death. Number 11. Black holes determine the number of stars. It might still seem hard to fathom, but black holes aren't just static patches in space. They interact dynamically with their surroundings, and according to some scientists, the number of black holes limits the number of stars in the universe. How? Black holes, especially the supermassive ones at the center of galaxies, disrupt gas clouds crucial for star formation. The intense gravitational forces near black holes can alter the elemental composition of these clouds, potentially creating environments ill-suited for the stable creation of new stars. In the cosmic dance of creation and destruction, black holes are celestial choreographers, influencing the very fabric of the universe. Number 12. Black holes sprout fountains. Fountains? Really? So nothing's supposed to be able to escape a black hole's powerful gravitational grip. But it turns out that this only applies to material that's gotten extremely close to the hole's edge. Many black holes are surrounded by streams of gas and dust that circle the hole like water going down a drain. As this material moves around, it gets super hot and creates structures similar to violent storms. Scientists have recently observed that this motion forms ring-like structures around central columns of matter that shoot up into space like fountains. Who knew black holes had a flair for the dramatic? Number 13. Albert Einstein didn't discover black holes. If you ask 10 people on the street who they thought discovered black holes, probably eight of them would say Albert Einstein. Eh. Long before Einstein was a twinkle in anyone's eye, a scientist named John Mitchell developed the theory of the existence of a black hole in 1783. After he wondered whether a gravitational force could be so strong that even light particles couldn't escape it, and while Einstein's theory of general relativity opened the door for the concept of black holes, it was theoretical physicist Carl Schwarzschild, not Einstein, who used general relativity to prove that black holes do exist. But neither man was responsible for giving this phenomenon the name black hole. It was astronomer John Wheeler who coined the term in 1967, 12 years after Einstein died. The more you know. Number 14. Black holes are extremely far from Earth. How close to Earth is the closest black hole? So far, the nearest known black hole to Earth is Gaia BH1, discovered using data from the European Space Agency's Gaia mission. And it's believed to be 1,560 light years or 1.476 quadrillion kilometers away. The second closest is Gaia BH2, which is 3,800 light years away from Earth. So don't worry, the Earth isn't getting destroyed by a black hole. Not tomorrow, anyway. And it's on that note that we'll crash land back on Earth and conclude our video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.